What's up, family? It's your boy Bo, and you're tuning in to another episode of Bo Too Dope. And today's topic is How important is your respect to you? Would you die for it? Would you fight for it? We're about to get into that in just a second, so stay tuned. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. What's up family, I'm back. And I gotta say it again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But anyways, today's topic is, how important is your respect to you? Would you die for it? Would you fight for it? I know I'm not gonna die for it. I don't care about it that much. But you got some people that we are, though. It's crazy. But uh, me, nah, I ain't gonna die for no damn respect. Because sometimes you gotta sit back and ask yourself, what good is your respect to you if you did? Well, you know, man, you know, I die for my respect. You feel what I'm saying, man? Man, ain't nobody gonna do respect me, man. Let me tell you something, man. The world is full of disrespect and respect. You get it from some people and you don't. It is what it is. You gotta just, that's just the way the ball rolls. You just gotta keep rolling with it. If I live my life saying I'd die for my respect, I'd have probably been dead by now. Because I've been disrespected so many times, and I'm pretty sure that y'all watching this has been disrespected. But how important was the disrespect to you? Like, you really didn't care that much about being disrespected. It wasn't that serious. Now, if somebody disrespect me in front of my children, then I'm going to come and, and, and holler at you about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get to the bottom of this because there's no reason why you should be disrespecting me in front of my children. So, you know, um, yeah, that's different. But if you disrespecting me to other people talking behind my back in a place where I can't see it, uh, boy, forget it. I don't care about all that. That's that's an ignorant, that's an ignorant person's game. I don't play, I don't get down like that. Um, but what I will say is, you know, if, if a person decides to give you respect, then accept it and give it back. You know what I'm saying? Respect is given when you give it. You feel what I'm saying? And, and respect is iron too. You know, like, ain't nobody around here obligated to respect you. I ain't obligated to respect nobody, but I show calm and respect though. You know, I'm not just walking around blatantly disrespecting people because, you know, that's just ignorant. I would never do that. So, would I die for it? Heck no. But would I fight for it? Hmm, now that's something to talk about. You gotta think about that. It depends on what situation I'm in, you know, as to whether I would fight for it or not. Um, if somebody just blatantly disrespecting me in my face, then yeah, I probably would fight them out. I'd be like, come on, you go out to, you go out to, you know, uh, practice what you preach. You go out to show me that you really about what you say you about. You know, and I'm not condoning violence. I'm not saying that, but, you know, sometimes you just have to walk away. But dying for it is a different thing. Uh, if I see a gun and somebody disrespecting me, you dang right. I'm going to get the hell out the way. I'm gone. Because I realize, I know this, that I got respect for that gun. It's not you that I have respect, because, but because you pointed that gun at me, I've lost all respect, respect for you, the person holding the gun. But that gun, I got all respect for because I know the damage it can do. But when you put that gun down, you nothing to me. That's how it is. You are literally nothing to me. So, yeah, I, I, I run from a gun and people always have the notion, I always get the notion that, okay, running away from something, that means you're scared. Let me tell y'all something. That is the most idiotic thing I ever heard in my life. Because there's a difference between scared and, and being smart. I know a gun can kill me, so why would I stand there and let the gun kill me? Just because I want my respect. Come on, man. You gotta be real with yourself. <laughs> why would you do that? That's just that's idiotic, too. That is very idiotic, but nah, man, I'm not gonna do that. And fighting for my respect, it all depends on the situation, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you hit me in my face, you walk up to me and you hit me, that is disrespectful. I'm going to fight for my respect. But if you hit me with the pistol, I may or I may not swing back. You know, I mean, I'm, I've, I've grown. 
God, dad bit me like four, five years ago. You smacked me with a pistol. I'm going to fight you with the pistol in your hand. But that was me back then. I've grown from that. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I, I probably would fight for it if you walk up to me and just slap me. Well, what the hell I do to you? What you slap me for? What side of the bed did you wake up on? You know, I'm not, no. You're not finna just walk up to me and slap me. It's the principle. It ain't even about respect. It's just like you don't know me. And you walk up to me and you slap me. You know what I'm saying? Now, I demand respect from my children. But just a random person, I don't demand no respect from them. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't demand no respect. But you're going to give me common respect simply because I did nothing to you to make you be disrespectful towards me. That's just like if I'm at a job and my boss, well, I ain't gonna even call him a boss. I'm gonna say the man that's running the building at the moment, uh, you know, wants to talk to me in a very disrespectful way. I ain't gonna even act out. I'm gonna politely to pull over, pull him to the side, and I'm gonna tell him, look here, I understand you run the building, but you have to understand that I am a man, okay? And I didn't get this far letting people talk to me no any kind of way now you can choose to continue to talk to me like this and 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 and, and continue to you know try to make a mockery of me or make fun of me and make me look bad but then there's consequences that come behind or you can be a man and apologize for talking to me out of character before i get out of character that's just one way of doing things in the other way, you can say, ah, oh, boy, but I ain't that type of guy. I mean, you disrespect me at work in front of a whole bunch of people that respect me, and then you come around and disrespect me just because you got a little, little rank, you know, at the job or whatever. Oh, it's going to be a problem. It's not going to be a problem where I'm going to fight you, but I'm going to pull you to the side, and I'm going to speak my mind, and I'm going to let you know. So, yeah, I will fight for it and I don't mean they don't mean always having to get physical you can speak and fight you feel what I'm saying you can speak and fight you don't always have to get physical to fight for something you know just like when you fight when black people uh, during the civil rights movement when they fought for their rights you know uh, the main thing Martin Luther King always stated was non-violence he always stressed that non-violence so with that you know even though he made a lot of progress but that's a whole nother story and I still feel like there ain't a whole lot of progress, but like I said, it's another story for another time. But, you know, even with that, that mindset lets you know automatically that you don't have to fight. You don't have to fight physically to fight. You don't have to, you know, get physical with nobody to fight for something. You know, it don't always involve, I had to kill a spider. <laughs> it don't always involve using your fists. You know, you can be a you can be a beast with your mouth piece. You feel what I'm saying? You could be a beast with your mouth piece. I'm gonna start using it. A beast with your mouth piece. Look at me. But no, nah, you can start doing that and and you can use that. You don't always have to use your fist in your hands to to uh, you know fight for something or to get things done. You know, but you have to be able to you know articulate yourself. You know, if you're not one to talk, then you might be the physical kind of person. You know, I used to be the type of person that was not so outspoken, who was like to myself and I didn't want to talk to people, or I didn't know how to talk. So, it, I would always use my hand to speak for me, you know. Um, you know, with that being said, those are the things that I put out into the universe that I hope I never have to you know, get to that point. I hope I never have to get physical with nobody unless it's it's needed. You feel what I'm saying? Because during this COVID-19 outbreak, man, we living in times where, man, we might have to afford up eventually, man. And we know that for a fact, it's not, everybody's not blind, man. It's not the actual virus that's making people sick, man. They putting people in the house because they putting up these towers and these towers are emitting microwave compatible waves that are making people sick, man. They drain the oxygen out of your cells and, and, it, and it kills you, man. 
you know, it's, that's another story for another time. That's not what my channel is going to be about. But if y'all want to see videos like that, let me know. Because I do a lot of research and a lot of reading on them type of things. But I like to keep my channel positive and talk about positive things. So back to the respect thing. No, I don't feel like that you have to always get physical with it. But dying for your respect, now that's just, that's just straight up ignorant. Because what good is your is your respect to you if you did? There's no good to you. You laying in the ground. What you laying up in the ground like this? Yeah, they respect me though. They respect the hell out of me. Come on, man. Look how stupid I look. Just saying that. Nah, man. So we trying to keep things. We trying to be smart about things. We gonna try to make smarter decisions. We ain't on that ignorant stuff. We not out here trying to fight nobody. You feel what I'm saying? We don't fight no battles that we know for a fact that we can't win. Y'all have to excuse me, man. It's naps and stuff. Y'all know the summer coming. Naps and stuff around the camera, but I'd rather be nowhere uh, other than being in nature, man. I love nature. Like I said, being outside is being in nature. But anyways, yeah, man, you know, I'm not dying for it. Is my respect is important to me? But it all depends on the setting, uh, where I am at that moment, you know. If I'm in a place where nobody knows me, nobody owes me respect. I mean, common respect is just, you know, that's just something that you do. Sick of this neck. But anyway, common respect is just something that you do. Uh, it, it, it's not a necessity. So no, I don't expect nobody to just walk up to me and say, hey, I respect you. Even though that'll be a nice thing to do, I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna start walking up to people. Hey, I respect you. Just because I respect you. I'm gonna start doing it. You know, I think the world would be a better place if we just practice saying positive things to everybody every day. You know, just being nice for no damn apparent reason. How dope would that be? But anyways, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. I just wanted to speak on that. We're gonna keep things positive, man. And this is your boy Bo signing out, saying stay up, stay down, and most importantly, stay real. Tell me, love me. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.